Hello again, YouTube. I am going ahead and filming my weekly readings a little bit late. I'm doing them on Tuesday, but it's still your general weekly reading for the week of the 14th through the 20th of June, 2020. Same as I always do. Um, we're doing groups one, two, and three. I'm going to give you 10 seconds of silence to pick which cards seem to resonate with you the most. I'll put the timestamp down in the description box. You go ahead and find that. Fast forward to your reading and you're done, or you can watch the whole thing. That's up to you. Um, there is a little bit of information at the end, but not a lot. Most of it's just in the description box now. And um, I'm going to give you 10 seconds starting now. And let's go ahead and get started with group Hello, number one. Group number one, you have chosen the Mystic Mondays Tarot deck. I will have a link to where you can purchase this on Amazon down in the description box. Um, this is not anything I make money off of. This is just for your convenience. This is your general reading for the week of June 14th through the 20th of 2020. This may resonate somewhat entirely or not at all. If it doesn't resonate at all, you may want to give it a little while and try again or try a different deck. That is up to you. Um, let's see what we got. Whoa! I've never had a card do that before. Okay, so that's okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so the first card I have is the Princess of Pentacles. Um, now would be a good time to start planning what you're going to do to bring in more money, save money, or get, you know, a bigger house, bigger apartment, whatever it is you are trying to do. Now is the time to plan for that. I have the Two of Wands, the Princess of Pentacles, and uh, both of those are all about planning, getting things together. So... If it's not exactly money, then you'll know what I'm saying. But whatever this is, now is the time to plan. I also have the Four of Cups. Make sure that you're not just assuming an offer is more of the same old, same old. You're about to receive a blessing or you may have recently received a blessing that was um, hidden, so to speak. It, it seems like more of the same. It's not. Um, you may also feel like you're going to get in trouble or something because of this offer. But... It may not even be an offer. It may be a different person. It may be a different job. You'll know. Whatever happened to you personally, there is something in front of you that you don't feel so, so um, blessed to have gotten, but it is in fact a blessing. Next, I have the Five of Swords. There's somebody who is um, kind of abusing their power over you, and it's, it's kind of setting you off. Don't let them make you lose your temper. Try and think things through. Talk things through. Ignore them where you can. Um... Don't let them win by seeing your anger. It's best if you can just walk away from them entirely. If you can't, then do the best you can to stay away. You also have the High Priestess. So this is a good week to listen to your intuition. Your gut is telling you already what to do. You just don't realize it. Um, or you're, you're doubting it. Also, I have the Ten of Wands, which is carrying a lot of burdens. And sometimes, usually most of the time, this is other people's burdens or burdens that you shouldn't even be responsible to be carrying. It's time to set them down, start saying no, and stop picking them back up. Your last card is the Two of Swords. So there's a very difficult question in front of you. You have two different paths you can take. You are the only one who can sit down and decide which way to go. Now the good news is you won't make a wrong decision, but by the time you're done with this, you'll have weighed all of your pros and cons. You'll be okay. So sit down, listen to your intuition, Weigh your options, and when you come out, you'll have made the right decision. If you haven't already, please click that subscription button as well as the bell next to it to be notified whenever I post another video. I am typically on a Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday schedule. And um, if you want to get a paid private reading, the information is down below, as well as how to join Patreon and get free readings through that, how to come join TikTok readings every evening. All of that is right down there. Make sure you take a, a glance. I have each section uh, starting with an emoji so it'll help it be easier to find and um, I will see you all again Thursday with the next video until then stay safe and stay healthy Hello. Bye, group number two you have chosen the Rider Waite Smith blueback deck that I have 
And I'll have a link to purchase down in the description box. I don't make anything off of that. It's just for your convenience. This is your general weekly reading for the week of June 14th through the 20th of 2020. And this may resonate somewhat, not at all or entirely. If it doesn't resonate at all, you may want to choose a different deck and try again or give it a little while and try again. Um, let's see what this week holds for you. I think I've said everything that I could say or should say. Got a lot of high priestess energy this week. all right so your first card is the full it's time for you to stop sticking to the same old same old close your eyes take a leap of faith and do that thing you're afraid of doing because that is what you need to be doing right now the signs are there it's just hard to see them when you're so afraid i've been there myself next we have the high priestess listen to your intuition your intuition is telling you everything you need to know if you find it comes through as like racing thoughts that's anxiety or your mind speaking but if it just comes to you all of a sudden out of the blue or you feel it deep in your gut that's your intuition listen to it next i have the lovers which is typically a hard choice to make i feel like you may be looking um at some life decisions here and you're just not sure which way to go um i can't help you but the best thing i could tell you would be to pray on it Look for higher guidance. If you notice in this card, she's looking up to the angel. A higher power will let you know what to do. Whatever your higher power is that you believe in. Next, I have the Empress, which is female power, fertility, um, commitment, marriage. I mean, she's, she's a whole bunch of good things. But I think what she's talking about here, especially with the Emperor a few cards later, is there's going to need to be two halves to a whole here. There is somebody that you need to be working with to complete what you're trying to do. This could be a partner. This could be a friend. This could be a coworker. You need help. This could also be parental figures. Uh, the empress and the emperor are typically, obviously married. So this could be parents, grandparents, any couple that could help you. There's a lot of different ways you could read this. The emperor could also be read as stability and older father figure stepping in. So take that as you will. Um, this could be people, this could just be things. For, for some of you, it may be one and others the other. We also have temperance. Make sure you're staying balanced. You're not resorting to drugs or alcohol or anything like that to calm your problems. Just try and stick to that middle path. Things will work out. Right now, fate is in control. This is the wheel of fortune turning. It's nothing you can do, but be braced because there's transformations and new beginnings coming your way. But to get to the new beginnings and transformations, there has to be some endings as well. So it may be a little bumpy ride, but it's all for the best. I promise you that. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and press the little bell next to it to be notified whenever I post another video. I post Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday typically. And um, if you want to get a paid reading or join Patreon to get free readings, all the info is down in the description box. Just scroll through real quick. You'll find it super easy. You'll also find out how to join my TikTok readings every night. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see y'all Thursday. Hello, Bye, guys. Group number three, you have chosen the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition deck. I will have a link to purchase this on Amazon in the description box. I make nothing off of that yet, but it's just for your convenience. Um, eventually, I'll have the ability to make something, but until then... Um, this is your weekly general reading for the week of June 14th, 2020. And this may resonate entirely, somewhat, or not at all. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can either try a different deck or give it a little bit of time and try again. I'm seeing a lot of the same cards this week. I think a lot of us are having the same problems. So you, then again, there's that high priestess. So the first card is the emperor. This is an older father figure. This is stability, that feeling of I'd rather be feared or respected than loved. Um, this could be a 
excuse me, this could be a person in your life or this could be feelings that you're fighting with right now. I feel like there's always that chance it's one way for one and another way for the other. Um, but either way, that's what we're starting the week with. You may be looking for stability, you may be dealing with that person. Again, I have the full. There's something that has been put in front of you. You feel like this is what you should be doing, but you're afraid to take that leap. Go ahead and take it. That's the best thing for you at this point in time. I promise. Next, I have the King of Cups. This could be a man in your life or energy, yourself, whatever. But this is a person who is just very emotional, sensitive, intuitive, spiritual. They're kind of that well-rounded person, but they're, they're sensitive. They might hide it well, but they're sensitive. Um, this is a person who's more dreamy, more out there is what some people would call it. This could be somebody you deal with. This could be you. Um, I also have the Three of Cups. So this will be a good week to spend time with your friends, especially girlfriends. Just get out, celebrate, uh, have some fun. You know, sorry, my nose ring is tickling me. Next, we have the Knight of Wands. So it's time to take action based on your desires, passions, interests, things like that. Um, you already know especially career-wise, you already know you want to do something that you love and you're passionate about. Now is the time to take that leap of faith and start looking how to do that. There may be a little competition and a little bit of hassle getting there, but it'll be worth it in the end, and it's not anything serious. Next, there is this one fly. I hope you all don't see that. Next, we have the Queen of Wands, which is a very fiery, passionate, again, this could be a woman or a man, Fiery, passionate person, comfortable in their sexuality, nurturing, loving, caring, um, very career oriented, very, very energetic, very all over the place, always having something to do, always doing something, always wanting to do something. That King of Cups energy could very well balance this out for you. So this could be two people, two halves of a whole or two separate people entirely that you deal with. And then finally, we have the High Priestess. As always, this is a call to listen to your intuition, know how to hear it. If it's thoughts that you just can't get rid of, just constantly in your head, then it's it's your mind. But if it's a feeling that just comes to you, you just know it one time, there you go, boom, the sky is blue, so to speak. Or for an example, and you don't know how you know it, or it's a feeling deep in your gut, that's your intuition. Listen to that. It'll go off, especially around people or when you get an off or things like that. You'll know. Trust me, you'll know. Um, that is your reading. I hope you've enjoyed if you haven't already, please press that subscription button and click the little bell next to it to be notified whenever I post another video. I post every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, typically. And um, if you want a paid, paid private reading, the information is down below, as is how to join Patreon and get access to free readings and how to join TikTok every night and get readings through that. Um, basically, everything you could possibly want is down there. Uh, I will be back Thursday with my next video. And until then, I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Thanks, guys. I love y'all. Bye.